Hello YouTube, Jürgen here, Oskar Eco Ford, Juliet Hotel Whiskey. In today's video I will build the Norcoil doublet, a dipole style antenna, which is made of 50 feet, around about 15.2 meters, of this uh, flat ribbon wire. This is a four-stranded uh, wire. Uh, I bought this on Amazon and I will put a link in the description. This is uh, 22 AWG around about 0.3-ish uh, millimeters, square millimeters, and this should handle 100 watts. Because it's a non-resonant antenna, we also need an antenna tuner. And uh, I have only this ATU100 uh, here on hand. I also need a ballon. I'm going to use this RBA one-to-one -one ballon made by LDG, which should handle 200 watts PEP. And for center support of the dipole, I printed this little thingy here, which will hold the wire, and it also fits over the top section of my mast, like this. So let's build it, and I will test this antenna on my next PODA activation. First I measure the two ends of the dipole. One end is 22 feet long, that's uh, 6.705-706 meters. And I marked uh, 53 centimeters here on my desk, I marked uh, 70 centimeters here, and over there I marked one meter. So let's start from here. Uh, that's one meter, two, oh, it's twisting around here, three, four, five, six, and then six. 705 which is here and I will mark this also let's put a piece of tape over here so then we need 28 feet so let's measure this we start from here one, two, three, four, five, six, eight meters and 53 centimeters is here. So that's the bottom end of the antenna. And now I peel off the outer two strands of the wire. was a little bit too much. Okay, let's cut this off. I will cut it a little bit longer, like so. And we do not need those cables anymore. And now let's route it through this plastic thing here. Here we go. Okay, that's one. Right. So it's to here. Okay. 
So we touch it. Like so. And then I need a cable tie. Hey, come on. And I will put it through here and here. And lock this in place. That's the number one. And I have a second hole here. And here and here. And here. And here. And this goes through here. Oh, maybe I have to drill them a little bit larger. This is one of the advantages if you're using ASA, you can easily uh, drill a hole or file it down or whatever. So, and that's one end of the dipole. It's a centerpiece with the two ends of the dipole and the feeder line. So let's cut this piece off here. Okay. And for the end of the dipole, I simply tied a knot and fixed it with a cable tie. Number one, So oh, that's the whole antenna. What I will do is now I add this banana plugs here.
And with the end of the feeder line, I can now go into the ballon. And from the ballon, I go to the antenna tuner. And that's it. Tomorrow I will do a parks on the activation. I hope to hear you on the air. 73 Fox, thanks for watching. Bye bye.